Welcome back to Advent of Code 2025. Today's problem gives us a bunch of rows, each line having a sequence of digits, and these digits represent a bunch of batteries that are arranged into banks. And within each bank, we need to turn on exactly two of the batteries, and the voltage produced is equal to the number formed by those two digits. So for example, in a bank like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we could turn on the second and fourth batteries to get 24 jolts. We can't rearrange the batteries, but we do not have to pick consecutive numbers. And so we want to find the largest possible voltage that we can get out of each bank and output the total sum. Okay. So when checking if which of two numbers is larger, obviously you would look at the tens digit first. If the tens digit of one number is larger, then that number is going to be larger no matter what the ones digit is. 90 is going to be greater than 89, for example, obviously. What this means is that we basically want to optimize for the first digit. We don't really care what the second digit will be. Um, we just care what the first digit will be. For example, in this case, although we have a bunch of eights here, nine is the largest digit, and so we'll want that as our tens digit, even if that means that our ones digit will be small, because that's just how numbers work. Now, we cannot select the last digit as our first digit because we do need to turn on exactly two batteries, so the second digit has to still exist after our selected tens digit. What this means is our optimal strategy will be to select the highest digit out of all but the last digits and then select the largest digit that comes after that value as our ones digit. So for example, in the first line, nine is the first non-final digit. So we select that as our tens digit and then select from the remainder to get eight as our second largest. In the second row, eight is the largest digit that isn't final because nine is in the last position. And then we select the largest digit out of the remainder, which is going to be the nine. That gives us 89 and so on and so forth for the remainder. Likewise, in this example, we can't pick the eight because it's at the end, so we pick the seven. So we'll keep track of a total and we can just loop through the lines for each line in the input. We will store the bank as a list of numbers which we can get by mapping the int function over line dot strip to get rid of the white space. And so that'll give us our list of numbers. To get to the tens digit, we can take the max of everything except the last element in the bank. So what this notation means is we take a slice of the list starting at, by default, it's zero and ending at negative one, which is the index at the end of the list. So this takes everything except the last element of the list. And then we'll chop off everything that comes before or equal to the tens digit. So uh, that'll be bank.index tens will tell us where the earliest occurrence of the tens digit is. Now we do want to take the first occurrence because for example, if we had something like uh, this, for example, Nine is going to be the largest digit, but if we take the first nine, we can do 98. If we take the second nine as the tens digit, we can only do 91. Or I guess if we take the first nine, we could do 99. So we do want to take the first occurrence of the maximal digit. So we'll chop off everything that comes after, we'll only keep everything that comes after that. And so that means the ones digit will be the max of whatever remains. And so the total joltage from that bank is going to be the tens digit times 10 plus the ones digit, which will give us our answer for part one. For part two, we need to turn on exactly 12 batteries and the strategy will remain basically the same. Once again, we want to optimize for the first digit because if the first digit is maximal, then the number will be maximal regardless of what the remaining 11 digits are. So again, we need to still have exactly 12 digits, which means that we want to take the maximal of the first n minus 11 digits. We need to leave 11 digits untouched at the end because 
we always need to have 11 digits after the first digit. So we'll take the maximal of the first of the remaining digits. So we'll basically be doing this. But each time, we'll start with taking the uh, all but the last 11 digits and then chopping off everything that comes before. And then from the remainder, we'll take all but the last 10 and then we'll chop off everything that comes before the second digit. And then we'll repeat so on and so forth. So we can chuck this into a loop fairly easily. We'll just do it like so. For index in range up to 12, the digit that we extract is going to be the maximum of everything up to some value. So initially it's negative 11 when index is 0, and then it goes up by 1 each time, negative 11, then negative 10, then negative 9, so on and so forth. So that value will be index minus 11. Now, there is also one final thing to consider before we continue, which is that once the index reaches the end of this range, it'll be equal to 11, which means that we no longer have any digits that need to come after it, so we can just take the max of everything that remains. However, if we just did this, then index minus 11 would be 11 minus 11, which is 0. And taking the slice of a list from 0 to 0 will give you the empty list, which will give you an error. So we will actually take this range up to 11 and then just handle the last digit separately by just taking the max of everything that remains in the power bank. Okay, so once we have our digit, we'll chop off everything like we did before. So we'll set bank equal to this. And then we'll update our jolts value. So we can construct this as a string and add to the string each time like so, or we can just handle it one by one. So each time you add a digit to the end of the number, you're basically multiplying the old number by 10 and then adding in the digit value itself. So for example, if you have 34 and you want to append the digit 7 to the end of it, then 34 times 10 is 340, and then you add the 7 to get 374, or 347. So we can do jolts equals jolts times 10 plus the new digit. And then at the very end, we can do jolts equals jolts, jolts times 10 plus the maximum that still remains, which will be the best digit that we can get. And then we'll increase the total by jolts to get our answer for part two. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.